Next block is K3, and K3 is assembled from the inside out. This is a modified block, so we're going to go to the book, and you have a simplified, it's the, took out this outside border. And so what we have here is a nine patch block, and then cornerstone border. So you've got a rectangle. What, what I'm going to end up doing is attaching these rectangles on each side of the nine patch and then forming this top row with the square rectangle square and the same thing down here and then assembling this and then treating that same, doing that same type of thing out here. This is a square. There's a square line that's supposed to be right there. And so what I'm gonna do, I've got my stuff laid out. I have a, I have a directional focus fabric, little flowers on it. And my background, sometimes when you look at your fabric, your background is directional if you don't realize that there's these little bits back here that all point in one direction. So I have to be real careful about which direction they're facing. So my basting, I'm going to baste the focus fabric one way. So let's say opposite sides of the sides and then top and bottom, which leaves the top and bottom as my secondary fold. I'll do the opposite on the background, so I would do top and bottom and then then the sides so that you don't have the same kind of folds on each square. Rectangles, I'm going to do the short sides first, then the long sides. And that seems to be the only shapes that we have to deal with. So I will get started on my nine patch center. So I've got my nine patch block um, and assembled in the three rows. And I'm making sure that the direction, all my little whatever those are, Little, they look like an arrow pointing up to the upper right hand corner of my blocks. That's how I'm going to have them be in the front of my blocks. So I'm just going to sew these together to make my center portion. And then I'm going to baste and connect these rectangles. I got the center nine patch unit all completed. And then I'm going to baste this and connect those. So I got the side rectangles on the middle nine patch section. And now I'm going to take this little bit and this little bit and connect it to each other, making a row to connect to each side of this section in the middle. So I've got the cornerstone rectangle cornerstone unit completed, and now I'm going to attach it to my central section. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top. So I've connected the top and bottom rows and I have this whole section connected. It looks like it's off because of the fabric. The fabric is not lined up on my squares and I thought about realigning my fabric because of that but I'm not going to bother with it. But um, the pieces are lined up correctly but it's just that the fabric's not lined up on the pieces like you can see this right here. So anyway as I go on um, the next step I'm going to do is attach these two side ones and then do the same top and bottom row for um, this outer section. So I've got the two side triangles on my center unit. So all I've got left to do is this top and bottom row. And so I've got one of them basted and not connected yet. So I've got the bottom row connect or basted and then I will connect this to the bottom here. So far all of my little arrow thingies are going in the same direction. So this will end up going down here and this will be up here. So now I've got the bottom section attached and I just need to attach the top section. So now I've got the top section attached and that completes my K3 block.